Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In this video we will go through how we wire up a stepper motor and a Mitsubishi PLC to a stepper drive. Then we will make a simple program in GX Works 2 to control it. First let's wire up the incoming 24 voltage DC. Make sure your stepper drive can handle 24 voltage DC. The DM542T drive I use in this tutorial have a switch to change it from 5 voltage to 24 voltage DC. Then let's wire up the incoming 0 voltage DC. From the PLC I am using the outputs are NPN transistors. So I will wire up my output signals to the minus side of the drive's control terminals. From the stepper motor I am using is a 4 pulse signal. So I got 4 wires to connect to the drive. In most cases you can find which cable should go where to the drive in the manual of the motor. If you are unsure you can also resistance measure between the cables and identify which of them are paired together. If you got the beeping resistance mode on your multimeter, then you simply measure with your probes on the cables until you hear a beeping sound. Then you have found which cables are paired together. Then you simply connect the paired cables to one of the A or B terminals and the other paired cables on the other one. It doesn't matter if you choose A or B. The important thing is that the two cables that are paired goes to one and same plus and minus terminal. On my stepper motor which is a NEMA 17 from Stepper Online, I will wiring according to this picture. This is all the wiring we need to wire up a stepper drive. On the stepper drive we also have some switches on the side where we can choose which nominal current we want for the motor. And also how many pulses per revolution we want to use. Here we need to check the manual for the motor and find how much current the motor need. My NEMA 17 stepper motor have a nominal current of 1.5 amps. So I will set my three first switches to the closest I can set it to 1.5 amps according to this diagram. 1.46 amps is the closest I can get. So I will set switch 1 to off and the rest to on. And for the pulses per revolution switches I want to go for 800 pulses per revolution. So I will set my other five switches according to this diagram. I will turn switch 6 to off and let the other ones be on. I will now do the programming needed in GX Works 2 to make the stepper drive work. On the first rung I will just add a memory bit that can enable the drive. On the second rung I will be using the DRVI instruction. The DRVI instruction sends pulses to the stepper motor, causing it to move a specific distance from its current position. The movement is relative, meaning it will add or subtract pulses from the motor's current position. On the next rung I will be using the DRVA instruction. It is used to command a stepping motor to move to an absolute position based on the specified pulse count. The DRVA instruction moves the motor to an exact position relative to a defined origin home point. I will now go online and monitor the program while we test it out. If I try to move the stepper motor's axis by hand while the enable isn't active it won't work. But if I activate the enable signal I will be able to move it by hand.
but when we want to test it out with the instructions we want the motor to have its enable signal off. I will now set a speed to the motor and then test it out a bit with the DRVI jog instruction and the DRVA position instruction.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.